we found a wild camping place, different than usual. And this is our bed. <laughs> And we are going to sleep in the tunnel. Hello everyone! It's me Peter again. It's Friday, we're in Norway of course, and we have beautiful summer weather. Right now it's something around 28, 27 Celsius degrees, so it's really warm, finally. So the two-week trip that we have done was just two weeks ago, and since then the weather is almost perfect. I finished earlier a uh, job to, to go on a trip because of the weather, of course. And now we are heading to Brumundal when we are going to meet with uh, my friends and we are going on a weekend trip. Big changes coming and it's all because this one. This trip took place in the last weekend of summer holidays in Norway. I've met those guys two years ago and since then we try to gather and ride together at least once a year. The group on this trip was about 10 machines and at this point we didn't know how unusual this trip is going to be. We began to ride north towards Otta and it was getting really late. We should start riding at 6 pm but I came late to Brumondal and we had to wait for one more person. Michał created a route of many side roads, so we all knew that those 200s are not gonna take two hours as with highway. Our plan for this weekend was very ambitious. It's supposed to be over 1000 kilometers with many mountain passes and beautiful places. My main goal was to show you guys Tungestilen, which is my personal discovery in 2022. We finally got to the camping right before 11 pm, so really late. But we could see so many wonderful views along the way. Michał done a great job with the route. Two minutes before we came on campsite, I dropped my motorcycle on the ground. When I was turning, I set suspension too high, ground was bumpy and I got my feet in a hole. There was no chance to hold it up. At camping we had to split in two groups. There were two separate camping sites across the road and there was not enough place for us all in one camping. After taking a little chat, drinking some good stuff, eating dinner, we went to sleep about 1st am. Next day was supposed to be very long and tough, so we all wanted to sleep as long as possible. Saturday began later than we thought. We hit the road at noon, finally. We decided to eat breakfast in a city nearby, which is Lum. <laughs> We are in Lum now and we are going there, there is some uh, bakery, which is a bit famous, I heard. So the plan is to buy there some baguettes and ride on a place where we can eat it. Our plan for today is uh, to ride on uh, Sognehjela, to ride also on Juvaschitta and some other places, we will see. <laughs> We already ate it. Wow! 
this bakery is awesome really you have to come here worth mentioning is that this bakery is pretty expensive but all products are very fresh and they are just delicious that day sun was almost gone but temperature was still very pleasant right the rain was not predicted and all roads should have great views According to fact that we started the day very late, we were a little unsecure about managing all of our plans for today. After that pause in Lum, we took direction towards Sognefjelle, which is the highest mountain pass in the Norway. From there we took detour to Juvasvetta, highest road in whole northern Europe. If you're gonna come here, I hope that you don't have fear for open spaces, because the feel of space is overwhelming here. At the end of the road is summer ski resort and people were skiing right on the glacier. From this year there is an automatic gate and the road is free for all motorcycles. And right now we are on a Yuvas Hitta and there is a so summer ski resort and you can ride here in the summer like all those people look at all those machines. <laughs> Ale jest fajnie. Ale Marek mówi, że po lodzie wszyscy zadowoleni są. No. A kto nie jest zadowolony po lodzie? Kto nie jest zadowolony po lodzie. When we were riding down, clouds were almost gone and we could see landscape finally. And we could see how high we were at that moment. After getting back to road number 55 and riding it a while, we took another detour. There is a road to Lairvas Bufielstue and it's easy to find. This road is paid for cars but not for motorcycles. Road itself is placed in the bottom of the valley. Most impressive are mountains that are around us. They are huge. Actually, it shouldn't be surprising because we are riding in Norway highest mountains, Jotunheimen. From Juvasketa you can see highest mountain in the whole country when weather allows it. At the end of the valley is something like mountain lodge called Lairvasbu. You can rent here room if you want. Lairvasbu are placed at 1400 meters above sea level and it's great starting point for mountain walks. Along the way there are thousands of great wild camping places. Some advice if you're riding on a high mountains in Norway to be prepared very well because now today it's uh, really warm but usually uh, it's much colder than on the lower parts of the country. So we are now almost on the Sognefjelle and on the bottom there is like 25 Celsius degrees and here in July we had four. You have to be very well prepared to have some warm clothes, some waterproof jackets. Ride carefully because there can be a situation that it's coming rain from uh, nowhere.
this is one of the most beautiful places I have been in Norway in my whole life. There is a huge glacier. Now it's very visible because when we were here two weeks, two weeks ago and uh, over one month ago, there was just a snow. But now you can see clearly the glacier and there this valley here. It's just pure beautifulness. <laughs> Amazingly great place to to come here. So remember Tungestulen, Tungestulen. If you like this place, keep in mind that you can rent a room or cottage here. There is also possibility to just come here, drink coffee or eat lunch. The full name of this place is DNT Tungestulen. DNT can be translated as Norwegian Tourist Association. If you are in Norway, please try Norwegian cakes. They are very sweet, but they are just delightful. If you check them up, the DNT tourist shelters are spread all over Norway in many great places like this one. They are usually located in mountain areas with wonderful views. So we have a little break to buy some food. Tomorrow is Sunday and on Sunday most of the shops in Norway are closed. I think this is my, my basket. For now, I have bread and fish. After shopping, we finally started heading to camping. We booked campsite in Aurlandwangen and to get there you can take the longest tunnel in the world, Lerdalstunnelen, which is boring and please avoid it at all costs. The proper way to get from Lerdal to Aurlandwangen is to take Aurlandsfjellet, sometimes called Snowvajen, which means snow road. This year I came here first time in 18th of June and there were tons of snow with 4 meter high snow walls in some places. Let's see how this road looks in the middle of August. My advice is that if you're riding on a high mountain road, asphalt road like this one, so Arlandsfjelle, Ler, Sognefjelle, Ler, all you choose and you see some gravel roads that takes a detour from, the, from it, don't be afraid and ride on it. Gravel roads here in Norway are not so hard, they are not so difficult. Uh, I know some of you are maybe scary of uh, gravel roads, but don't be and if you will take them ride slow take your time and then you can see views like this and i think it's really worth it Finally, campsite, but this time it didn't go so well. We had a deal with owner that we are coming late so he can hold places for us, but unfortunately places were gone. You can be easily tricked by daylight and say, ah, not a big deal, it's still not dark, but in reality that was 23 pm already. We were tired, our asses hurt, and the situation with campsite didn't help at all. We tried to find some wild place, but that's really not easy with such a big group and in very popular tourist area. All good places were taken or were blocked with private sign on them. We rode back and forth and when all hope was almost gone, guys found a place 
but the entrance was a little unusual. getting a bit late but I must show you something this is going to be our bed our, our bikes there and this is our bed it's like some extraordinary sleeping place <laughs> oh man <laughs> we didn't have any problems at night we didn't have bears, snakes, or whatever. <laughs> Just snor snorling. <laughs> but it's okay, great. Oh, check the neighborhood here. I took two-person winter mattress with me on this trip and Michał wanted to check if it's really that good and he said to me at morning that I tried to hack him during the night but uh, I don't remember it and uh, I can't confirm this. Weather this day was beautiful, it was very warm and we have clear blue sky. I convinced almost everyone to take an extra tour to Jurdalen, gravel road in a beautiful valley. I tried to get there two times and every time I was blocked with snow or massive rain with very cold temperature. And this day was a perfect possibility to ride there properly. <laughs> 